Then we got this tire here. It's awful stuck too. And here's the whole picture. We're stuck in the middle of the. Let me give you a pan shot here. You know, if nobody finds us, we could. You know, luckily we have those two little bikes, but this is pretty spooky. Huh? So, do you have any history about this uh, part of the world, Ray? Yeah, I do. As a matter of fact, I'm glad you mentioned that. Okay, hold on. Uh, we got some time right now because well, we have this time. Uh, we'd be a fool to try to walk out of here. We'd probably end up dead. You know, that's that's the thing you don't want to do. You don't want to leave the the desert like this. You know, you want to stay with your vehicle. If worse came to worse, we could drink the gasoline because you know we're getting pretty thirsty. We're gonna get desperate pretty soon. Could turn to cannibalism. <laughs> but right now we're just gonna we're praying that, that things are gonna turn out. But while we're here, I would like to tell you about um, a story about about uh, Harry Webb. Harry Webb was a, a settler. He was in a wagon train with about maybe uh, ten other trains, ten other wagons. And they were cutting through Death Valley, just about uh, 10, 15 miles from here. About five miles from here, there's a monument, and that's you can come out this way and you'll be able to see it yourself. It's a monument to Harry Webb. What happened was they were traveling through the Death Valley, and uh, came a time where Harry Webb said, "Hey, we got a problem here. Supplies are running low. It's getting really hot." He goes, "We better bail." He goes, "We better go this way." Everybody else goes, no, you're crazy. We're going to go this way. Well, Harry Webb took his family, took his wagon, took his mule, and they headed out down a trail. It's, it's got the name now. It's called the Harry Webb Trail. He made it. He survived. Him and his family, they're the only survivors. Everybody else in the party perished. That's a known fact. They found the wagons. They found the corpses. They dried up, shriveled up. They're dead. That's a good story. Thank you.